there's an exercise where, oh, we could say this, rock star energy drink. Wow, I just put that in history. <laughs> See how quick history come up right there? Rock star energy drink. Those who want to um, do the exercise, we're going to say rock star to ourselves without opening our mouths, without saying anything outside. We're going to say this to ourselves. We're going to say rock star to ourselves. Don't say it out loud at the count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Now the question to ask, if you've said rock star in, in your mind, the question to ask is, what voice is that? What voice is that? What, what voice just spoke? You just said rock star without moving your mouth at all. On top of that, you, you, on top of saying rock star, you heard yourself say rock star. Uh, how can you hear yourself say rock star and no vibration of sound has happened? See, this puts a different perspective on what sound actually is and, and what memory is. Memory's not in the brain. Memory's in the soul. The only thing you take with you after this life is your memories or your knowledge, your experiences. That's the only thing you take. Unless you study Egypt uh, uh, culture, they believe you can take all their stuff with you on the other side. <laughs> Just as a, a side note. But if you said rock star in your mind or in your being is the true answer, is the true statement. In your being, what was that voice? What was the voice that spoke and then you heard yourself speaking? But these ears did not hear you say anything because your mouth didn't move. So the ears didn't hear it, the mouth did not move, but you spoke and you heard yourself speaking. If you close your eyes, you can see this better. If you close your eyes and put this image in another site, if you close your eyes, you can still see this. What is the sight that can see your future? These two eyes don't see the future. These two eyes don't see the past. Yet, you can see your past and you can see your future. You can actually see your past. <laughs> what is the sight that can see beyond time? Hmm. <laughs> Don't give it away. <laughs> what is you, this is this is an ancient meditation. This is an ancient meditation that I am not the flesh. I am the energy, the consciousness, the being in the flesh. And this is proof. This is no faith. This is not religion. This is actual fact. You can speak without moving your mouth. You can hear without ears. You can see without eyes. So what happens when these eyes, this mouth, and this ear drops off into the grave? These other senses are all you're left with. Death is an illusion. Once you realize this, you live your life more courageously. Now, no one wants to die before their time, so you try to protect yourself. But know that this body is the limitation of you. It is not your zenith. It is not your ultimate. Your ultimate is that voice that just said rock star. <laughs> that voice that just said rock star without nothing physical moving, that person is immortal. That person is not here with you. Let's go deeper. The body is in, what is it? Three dimensions, right? Forward, back, right, left, up, down, and time. Fourth dimension. Three dimensions plus time. 
That's our physical reality. Front, back, right, left, up, down, that's 3D plus time. What happened to in and out? Look at the East, look at the, the English thought. Back, forth, right, left, up, down, no in and out. No in and out. What is in and out? Rock star. <laughs> rock star says, I exist without the body. So where is this other existence? Where is it? It's not here. It's not in three-dimensional space where you really are. The person that said this is in a whole different dimension. Just switch a little bit. Talk to yourself more. <laughs> Affirm to yourself more. Don't move none of it. Mm, no, close this down and go within and say, I am the greatest dot, dot, dot ever. I have all my needs coming with speed. I am a being of love and light and knowledge. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Whatever it is, have your affirmation on your tongue. Or, sorry, in your being. This is how the gods created this whole reality. The first humans, imagine, the first humans, they came from inner space. They came out. Study the Anunnaki's. They came out of inner space. Not from up, outer space. Inner space. Rock star. <laughs> Before there was a body, there was this voice traveling in this voice's dimension to get here to the earth. The inner voice created this outer extension of itself to be in this dimension. Once you realize that you are not just in this dimension, but you're also in another dimension, you now are free. Because whatever happens to you here in this dimension is not your only reality. See, this is how Jesus was able to get beaten and, and brutalized and hang on the cross. He wasn't here. He was the rock star. Inside he went to the inner man. Do what you want with the body. I'm not here. Now once you realize that level of consciousness, where you are officially, you identify yourself as the spirit, not the flesh. You are the inner voice, not the outer voice. Once you become the inner voice, now your outer voice has power. Now when you speak, it's not just a shell speaking. There's a being speaking through the shell. And this is where you heal all sickness in your body. This is where you command reality to work with you and it works according to your consciousness. Why? Because it's not a shell that's speaking. There's a real being in the shell that is speaking. And when the real being speaks, all nature and the universe respond. 